Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day right now. Just planting some fruit trees. I'm actually going to plant a fig tree right over here. If you take a good look, you can see I got fig tree, coconut tree, coconut tree. We got one, two, three, four coconut trees right there on that side. And then on this side right here, we got one, two, three other coconut trees. We got about 30 coconut trees already planted right here on the farmstead, as well as a beautiful array of banana, coffee, and cacao, as well as one of my cacao trees, AKA chocolate tree, actually might be starting to have its first set of flowers, which is amazing because it's only been in the land for about one year. So, you know, you never know what's gonna happen when you're doing God's work. So let me go ahead and set this up right over here. I'm gonna show you guys show everybody how to get your grow on so let me see if i can set this up in a secure spot okay you guys can see okay so i don't have a shovel right now so i've been just kind of digging some holes with this and then as you can see down here i got a black mission fig it's nice and beautiful right nice little pose from that one so um you know the greatest joy in life is to be able to walk outside your house and you have all of your nutritional requirements met on a day-to-day -day basis, whether that's macro, you know, your protein levels, your fat levels, your carbohydrates, and then at the same time, all the micronutrients because you can grow herbs, you can grow all types of different tropical fruit trees when you live close to the equator. Now, if you're living in a temperate climate or a colder place up north, of course you have to um, do a lot more planting. Definitely need a greenhouse. Definitely need a lot of apple, pear, and plum trees and all that kind of good stuff. Blueberries and strawberries and raspberries and blackberries and all those things like that, which you can't really grow here in Thailand, um, especially blueberries. There's some places where you can do strawberries, um, but mostly here, we are not just setting up a homestead, but also setting up a farmstead because the good Lord above told me, hey Camden, you take care of the land and I'll take care of your pocketbook. And that's what the good God upstairs said to me. And I'm just following that. Oh my gosh, look at the mountain, it's so beautiful. Got butterflies out here. Let me go ahead and pop this in. See if I can show you guys what we got going on. It's not easy. It's not easy. Maybe I can do it on this side over here. I'm gonna get dirt all over my iPad, but it's all good, whatever. Maybe this is not a good idea. Let's see if we can do it this way, guys. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Bear with me, everybody. This is what I'm talking about. This is that unedited stuff right here. Okay, maybe that'll work. All right, great. So we're gonna pop it in here, put it in. I already put some nice, fresh, organic soil. And then what we'll do is, this is the soil right here. You see how good that stuff is? Look at that. And you can squeeze it and almost make like a small, like little dirt ball. And that's when you know you got some rich nutrient dense soil and you're just gonna dump that in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fill this up over here. Let me show you how to do that. And then let me tell you, this past week it's been like over 98 degrees every day. 100, sometimes 101 degrees. And uh, gotta make, stay, make sure you stay hydrated out here. Now this is called a Moringa tree. Some people call this the, the tree of life. Apparently it's got more calcium than broccoli and a lot of other nutrients and vitamins and things like that. Now I did buy a mangosteen tree. That was only like, you know, a little over $15. Um, but another five, it takes five years, you know. We got mango trees, we got tons of mango trees, lots of banana trees. And today we're gonna go out to um, one of the local like uh, Home Depot type stores and buy the materials that we need to build a chicken house. So I'm moving, moving forward 
and I don't want to be dependent on fossil fuels. I don't want to be dependent. Look, we don't live in a perfect world, okay? But if you can reduce the amount of fossil fuels that you're burning, the time in your car that you're driving to the supermarket or whoever delivering your goods to your home, when you can go outside your house and you got eggs, fresh, organic, no hormone, no antibiotic, no GMO corn, no GMO soy feed, none of that. You know, you can give chickens your food scraps that you don't want to eat and that you're too full to eat. And there's all kinds of stuff. Chickens will eat just about everything. So very soon, I'm going to be able to have the freedom to walk outside my home. <sighs> to walk outside my home and say, thank you, Miss Hen, for these delicious eggs right here. We'll have like four maybe chickens, you know, four hens, maybe one rooster or something like that. And then get a greenhouse, hopefully this month or next month at the latest. And slowly and patiently building everything up. Because if you're living in a city right now, it's kind of like um, a trap. For me, urban environments, okay, if you're visiting, that's one thing. But if you are investing a lot of money and time into a new home, apartment, a condo, or some type living in an urban environment, you're really setting yourself up for a big trap. And I think this whole pandemic, um, this mass hysteria over COVID right now is really exposing not only the truth, but showing that the people who were prepping all along were actually right. And they were doing the things that matter the most because what happens if you don't have food for your kids. What happens if things get shut down? What happens if your credit card, this whole cashless society that they're pushing, the new world order is pushing, the globalists are pushing, this cashless society, this crypto society. Whew, wow. I sit here and I digress. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. Let me show you how to do this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up. And then right here, this, so this soil right here has been sitting for a very, very long time, over a year. And they got all kinds of like amazing red earthworms in here. I mean, look at this soil, look at that. This is, this is what creates strong teeth. Oh, ow, 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 oh shoot. Red fire ants, ow, ow. Oh, ow, oh shoot, ow, oof, ah, 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 they all go into you at one time, oh man, my fingers are going to be swollen, dude, okay, so note to self, either wear gloves next time or be careful, let me show you how many ants are over here, oh my gosh, look at these fire ants, I gotta be super careful. Take a look at this. Holy moly. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to get in close. Can you see that? Oh man, my hand's on fire right now. Ow. Holy cow. Okay, well anyway, let's get it done. We got fire ants in the dirt too. But let's do this. Take what we got and fill out that hole so that fig tree can get in there nice, nice and happily so it can have a good day. And then one day I can come out here and pick fresh figs for the family, for the neighbors, for the business. And uh, you know, Whole Foods has an online like retailer where you can actually like, if you have food that you wanna sell, like we're growing coffee trees. So like in the next two or three years, we're gonna have a surplus of coffee beans and then we could sell that to Whole Foods back home at America or to different retailers in like the UK internationally. So, gosh, look at this mountain. It's so gorgeous. I'm loving life right now, everybody, if you can't see. And I just hope that everybody um, can get to a place in their life where every day you're doing things that you love to do, you're taking care of your health. If your mom and dad are still alive, you're calling your folks and telling them that you love them, you know? If you have cousins, if you have uncles or aunts or kids or children or whatever 
relationship didn't work in the past, you know, make amends and the past is the past and forgive people who have wronged you and then also forgive yourself for the people that you have wronged and ask the Lord for forgiveness and you shall be forgiven. And then you can just feel the Lord's spirit right now. It feels so good. And nobody can take that away from you. No government, no organization, no institution. Uh, well, actually, they are working on that through brain chip software where they can shut off different receptors in the brain that connect you to the universe and connect you to God. And if you don't believe me, you can do your own research on that. All right, pretty much that's it for today. I'm going to go fill up one more bag, one more pot of soil. And... Uh, I'll show you a little bit, some bananas over here that are almost ready to harvest. You see right here. Boom, got it. Not a lot and not super big, but because, you know, we don't live out here like all day, every day. And these bananas were here before I got here actually. But, um, do you, have, does anybody know what Noni is? It's an antiviral, but check it out. It's actually like a Tahitian Tropic, tropical Polynesian fruit. And you know that mountain I showed you over there and I mentioned in another video about a long time ago before Thailand was uh, Buddhist, it, it, the Hindus came here, you know? And so I think a lot of Polynesians and there's just so much trade around here, you know, where I am located, particularly in, in Thailand. So that's why I love learning about world history and the trading routes of the, the ancient times and things like that. And then you start to realize that, wow, I'm living in the most amazing time right now where I can be, you can be watching a video of someone who's in a different country on 4G. You know, we have to remind ourselves of how quickly technology changed our lives and do our best to embrace the best parts of it, stand up for our rights at the same time. Because if we don't, we will lose our freedoms. We will, we will lose our rights. And so people are like stuck in a Stockholm type syndrome. So my prayers go out to everybody. My prayers go out, go out to everybody. Um, you know, if you have been affected by this pandemic, if you've lost a job or, you know, you've just the third world right now, places in Africa, people are starving. People don't have food. So you know, a lot of people who have these online jobs and then they're uh, supporting this lockdown, this quarantine, it's really, really selfish of you because I know what it feels like to not have a job. I know what it feels like to be on the streets. I know what it feels well to be in a car on the streets and, you know, being homeless. I know what that feels like and not knowing where your next meal is going to come from. So it's really selfish for people out there to um, just bow down and comply to this ongoing quarantine you know and people people need to work people need to have food for their kids people are losing everything you know and for me this is just a mass hysteria still the flu look up the stats the statistics on the common flu seasonal flu you know google that before they take it out before google takes all that stuff out and yes, they are demonetizing my videos here on YouTube when I speak out, especially about the vaccination exposed video. And to everyone who has supported me, I thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just trying out here to do my best, share this message of optimism for the future, a pro-human future. And we got to stand up and you got to start living the solution. That's the key. Stop just watching the videos and get out there and take action. You know, this whole farmstead thing that you see out here in five years, it's going to be amazing. But 15 years ago is when I started this whole process. So it's not like it's an overnight thing or one, two, three, four, five years. As I said before, don't overestimate what you can do in one year. And don't underestimate what can happen in 10 years, in a decade. Okay, so that's it for today. A lot of great um, nuggets of knowledge for everybody. Have a wonderful day. If you have any thoughts or questions, just you know, feel free to share it in the comment section, not only for myself, but for everybody else out there who's watching this video. And uh, stay strong, stay healthy, get out in the sunlight, and reclaim your liberty. Your liber li 
reclaim your liberty. <laughs> reclaim your freedom. And one love. Peace out, everybody.